All right, guys, we're blowing a uh, yard here. It's an interesting yard. It's, it's got all this, and uh, my weed whacker just died completely dead on me. So um, that's going to have to hold off. And um, so I'm blowing the clumps. You can see I got the clumps blown from over here. But I still got some clumps here. Um, what was I going to try to say? This, the back of this yard is not that bad. The front of this yard needs detached, and uh, I don't think the guy wants to detach it or knows anybody that can do it. Um, I don't, I don't know how to do it. I know you need a detaching machine, a detaching rake or something. But um, I don't know if he's gonna want to pay me to do it. So. grows really fast back here the front of this house is just terrible guys i don't mind doing it cutting it but uh the front of this yard is terrible it's not like the last one we just did and it's not one that i would show off to people I didn't do that the next time I did this it would be that would be a problem so and again it comes down to um I'm a solo guy out here and uh people usually think solo is uh easy it's not I have my strengths and weaknesses just like anything else I am uh I actually believe you should charge higher price if you're solo because you're doing more uh, you're doing more jobs but um I haven't resorted to that yet most of my clients do like dealing with me but um, every now and then it crosses my mind to raise prices but uh you know you're out there doing five people's jobs sometimes sometimes two or three people's jobs then sometimes you're out there doing like five people's jobs and these pe and these people sometimes look at you like oh it's no big deal just do it that's his front yard it's a mess guys he needs to detach that shit 
I don't mind doing it though. I like I like the client. I like the client, so it's alright. Alright, but we are We're about to be out. Put this down. Get my truck. All right, so we're all loaded up, guys. I mean, you know, I like having a nice yard to cut. But uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind cutting his. It's just, uh, I actually like the guy a lot, but it's just uh, not a good one <laughs> to really show off. Also, my mindset has changed a lot. And like, um, if so, if a customer wants to uh, be petty with me, and it hasn't happened yet, but uh, back in the day, I would panic and I would do whatever the customer wanted. My mindset has changed. Like, um, if you get petty with me, then, you know, I don't even know, like, I'll get, I, I can give you an example. Like, uh, the lady that wanted the free weeds. We have a good relationship she wants free weeding and uh i sent her an email i said can you remove the flags and then i don't mind to do the free weeds but like um she was my also my first client so i'm not going to tell her no on the weeding but if somebody else wanted to say do pick a thousand weeds i'm going to tell them it's 30 dollars an hour and that's the bottom line like my mindset has just changed a lot like back in the day i'd have been like i'm like trying to please the, the person but you know you can't do shit like that. If anything, you're solo out here. You need to be charging more. You need to be charging more. And um, I'm thinking next year, next year, I'm either gonna hire somebody or I'm gonna start charging more. And um, these people, when they, when they're, when we're doing the estimates, I'm just gonna say I'm solo out here and I do a better job than a company who's gonna be in and out. And that's what that's what it's gonna start to be. And I'm gonna start telling them. That's what it is. It's, it's more money. I'm solo. I'm doing more people's jobs. People under the impression, oh, you solo, it's easy. Bro, when you have a team, it's not even easy. How do you think when it's when you solo, it's easy? That's that's a really ignorant way of thinking about it. Because if you really think about it, when you're like when you're on a team of three in the truck, it's easier, but it's not easy work. So like these people be like, oh, you solo, it's just easy. Just grab them weeds. No, ma'am. No, sir. We can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. Thirty dollars uh, an hour. And uh, also, guys, you gotta start charging minimums. I gave this lady estimate the other day. She needed two hedges trimmed. And um, so I say I usually like to do it like ten dollars a hedge. But that's on top of a minimum. I gotta. I gotta feed. I gotta feed my uh, my gas tanks and meet my truck tank and my tool maintenance so that's on top of a minimum so i, I do like a 70 dollars minimum i should i should be doing a hundred dollar minimum um that'll probably be next year but you know, these are just thoughts that you gotta think about and like um so so the lady's price was 90 dollars, and she she said okay go for it i mean half the time these your estimates are just you're just throwing numbers around they don't even mean nothing i mean like shits that i think about you know anyways i hope this guy dethatches his lawn uh the guy behind us this guy has a nice house and i was talking to him too he's a pretty cool guy but um yeah if you don't want your yard looking good then don't pay money to have it look good and then your yard's gonna look like shit i i, I just i don't get these people they don't they don't like Paying for their for their yard to look good. Where where were we talking about? I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, that's what I was saying. Like I don't people please anymore. If you say you missed a spot weed whacking, hey ma'am, I'll get it next time. It won't happen again. Um, I I normally don't miss spots. Um, 
I mean, if you're gonna nitpick with me, you're you're talking to somebody who's solo. Like I have to do a lot more, and I'm still giving you the the average rate, the going rate. I mean, you're you're crazy. That's all I'm saying. Just thoughts. But uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm about to I'm about to head out. All right, peace, guys. All right, we out of here. We good? Yeah, we good. This is a little. Um, it needs dethatched badly. Are we out?